And we are talking to Eric Zert. He's our guest speaker today, talking about geocaching. Yep. And Eric, why don't you tell us a little bit about what geocaching is? Sure, geocaching is a high-tech treasure hunt. It's a chance to get out into the woods and find containers that have been hidden by other people. And these containers could be something large, like an ammo can or some large Tupperware. Uh, they could be something as small as your fingernail that has been stuck to a sign. And what, th what, are, these, what are these containers, these, these treasures, look like? Um, sure, well, we've got a couple of examples here. Mm -hmm. You can see we've got some um, camouflaged um, metal containers or a mm -hmm. peanut butter jar, uh, something a little bit larger, an ammo box. Mm -hmm. So the, the key element is that you want it to be watertight so mm -hmm. that it doesn't get moisture inside it. And inside them, when you open them up, you'll find a log book or a piece of paper to sign to prove that you were there and some little trinkets. And that's great for the kids. Kids will go out. They love doing the treasure hunting. They could take Happy Meal toys that they're no longer playing with and they'll find something new and they can trade. So you're kind of teaching them about trading and you're teaching them about getting out into the woods, seeing nature. It's really a great time. And is this something that happens all over the country? All over the country and all over the world. There's over a million of them active right now, and there's over 5 million people doing this all over the world. And I would pretty much guess that around the Twin Cities, there's one within a half mile to a mile of your house. Okay, so in the Twin Cities, then, what do you do when it's winter time and uh, we get a little snowfall here? Great question. Sometimes you have to dig, but oftentimes you go out looking for ones that are marked as winter friendly, and they'll be up higher. Uh, they could be suspended in a tree or off of a branch. Uh, they could also be, like I said, stuck to a sign of some kind. So you try to find the ones that have been uh, put in such a way that it's not going to be completely buried. And uh, is there a website that someone can visit to get some more information or figure out where their next treasure hunt is? Sure. There's two websites that are important. First one, geocaching.com. That's the largest of the geocaching websites. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the Minnesota Geocaching Association. Good way to find local resources. That's mngca.org. Okay. Any final words for those uh, happy hunters? Get out on the trail and have a blast. Thank you.